Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are building Cinderella's royal carriage today. And yes, this is the latest one in a long line of Cinderella's pumpkin carriages created by Lego. I'm like, I think there are about 60 billion T of them, maybe? I think that's pretty close to the number. But this one looks as though it might have something new and special to offer. So let's have a look at it. We've got 237 pieces in this set. There was $60 here in Australia, which is not an unusual, it's like it's a reasonable high price you do pay for the Disney brand on top of the Lego pieces you actually get inside the box we are paying for the princess logo on these but the horses look at these horses we'll look at them closer in a moment I don't want to give away all the surprises here are our stickers not many which is nice so that shouldn't be too tough and there are two bags two bags of Lego and our instruction book of course because we need that otherwise we don't know where it's actually supposed to go <laughs> so let's start up we'll have a look at Cinderella and her skirt we have definitely seen before so no new ball gown in the top two nothing new here in Cinderella's outfit let's have a look at the back I do like this top though I love the lacing on the bodice on the back and the shininess up around the shoulders it's lovely it's all very very pretty very cinderella -y. and her face is different it is the same idea but I think it's different to the previous one doesn't look quite so possessed with the eyelashes so I think her face print is just a little bit different but she is joined by Gus the mouse Gus Gus this is brand new and so cool it is so so cool to have Gus as a little Lego mouse He's adorable. He's going to be hanging out here. I'm just checking him all over. He's got a little pinhole on the top. He's got an anti-stud on the bottom. So nothing too surprising about how he's put together. But this set also includes Cinderella's fairy godmother. This is the second time that she has appeared in a set. But she's a bit different. So her dress, she's still in a ball gown. Her dress is the same but different because it's the same print but it's been it's embellished it's got sparkles and it's got like silver up the top and she's got a cape which is also the same as the previous time yes that is the same so this goes over here which unfortunately covers the really pretty pin really pin the blah, 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 the really pretty printing on the top of her dress but her face her face is new she actually has a bit of age on her face she's got little gray eyebrows or like light gray eyebrows her brown eyes are different and her hood is the same but the hair on it is just a little bit tinged with a lavendery gray color so let's put I'm gonna pull out the old fairy godmother and just compare the two of them so lots of sames here but slightly different face is definitely considerably different and that fringe color is is entirely different but let's just pull these off so we can have a little look at the printing underneath it's just a bit more yeah, it's just a bit more embellished which is nice it's nice to have things become just a bit more sophisticated as Lego becomes more sophisticated at printing on mini doll torsos as well okay have I got the right head pieces on I think I have let's put this one on yes that's the right one okay so Cinderella and her fairy godmother and Gus Gus and she needs a wand because otherwise she can't do magic <laughs> which is a bit of an impediment really isn't it it'd be nice if being able to do magic without a wand would be handy imagine that that would be cool okay stop that okay so here are our three figures but I did mention that there were horses so there's not just three figures there are also two horses and these horses I knew oh this is so exciting not only do they have sparkles on them but the mold is entirely different the front legs cocked the head goes up and down the hair on the, the like the mane is rubbery and as is the tail I reckon I wonder if I pull this tail hard enough I doesn't feel overly secure in there but I'm not I'm not going to experiment too much with it just in case I do pull it off which would be a very sad beginning to this build but a brand new horse mold which is incredibly exciting that rubber remains cool uh, and we've got two of these let's put the let's put the the middle part in so it doesn't look so empty there we go and a pink flame for the front that's beautiful okay horse looks gorgeous let's just compare this new horse with the old Lego friends horse mold the ones that came also in the Disney princess sets they're so different in fact the new horse is taller is that an optical illusion no it's definitely taller ooh okay okay all right so brand new horse mold very very exciting <laughs> let's let's move our, our old one out of the way because we don't need him anymore bring in the second horsey and let's fill in the middle part of this horsey too 
give him a body or her a body or it and a body. I don't know. Actually, these are the mice, aren't they? So they're definitely his. His? <laughs> hisses. They're hisses. They're Gus and Jack. Okay. We got our horses. They are beautifully embellished with their pink flames, their pink forehead feathers. And we'll just put Gus up here, even though he does actually turn into this horse. So yeah, move them over and now we can start building. So let's see, what do we have? Apart from the carriage, we get a little tiny, a little little additional micro build. And normally it's something that is the pumpkin that the actual, yeah, here we go. Here's the pumpkin, which we can actually turn into the carriage. And we get a little candle so that we can light the way at night and a wedge of cheese, which is nice. That's good. Gus feels perfectly welcomed into this set. All right. So we also have got a chest, a treasure chest, because I mean, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a Disney princess set without treasure. So what are we putting in the treasure chest? This is generally where they keep all their belongings. We've got the, uh, an envelope with the invitation to the ball on it, a crown because she's going to need that later if all goes well, and her glass slippers printed on a two by one transparent tile. Nice, treasure chest is ready. Now we get started on the royal carriage. Yet another pumpkin carriage for Cinderella made out of Lego every single time. These are different, but I think that this one might be the newest and the best. Isn't the newest always the best? No, that's not always true. So we will see, we'll see how this goes together. So we've already got some Technique plugs happening out the middle there and some holes on the front or the back, whatever that's going to be. There's some technique pieces going into this build, which means just a little, it makes it a little bit more complex. So it's not gonna be that simple. Yeah, okay. And these go on here, right. Yeah, some very nice foundation work going on here with some technique pieces to hold it. Because I mean, you need the technique pieces for some really nice firm holding in position. And the oh, some of my favorite pieces, the gold, curly Q swirly things, pale blue. I, I know I've seen these pieces before, but never in a Disney princess set. These make a really nice shape. Plus they're bendy, these light blue things. We'll find out what their function is as we continue building. But this part here in the middle is going to be the, like the, the transporty part of the carriage, just like the, the, the bit where you sit in. So there's not gonna be a lot of space in there. The sitting, which is fine because it really is just, there's only room for Cinderella in here. She doesn't need a prince in there with her. This is just her carriage for her to hang out in and to go to the ball in and have a good time in. So let's see how it all goes. We've got a sticker for the cushion. That's a lovely sticker. So that's going right in the middle of the carriage. These go on either side. And then, yep, so the cushion and two little panel pieces so we can put we can put her nice and securely on either side, but she doesn't really quite fit in the middle. So she's, yeah, she's got to sit on either side, I think. All right, more gold curly cues. I just love the word curly cues. Curly cues are so cute. And some nice gold uh, fencing there to hold her in. And these are our extra pieces at the end of bag number one. We're up to bag number two. So we're going to, wow, we're going to finish this carriage in record time. So what are we going to do with these massive pieces with the studs facing everywhere going in all directions not on top and we'll find out how this I don't know I don't even know what this bit is oh we've rounded it over on the top this is our little pumpkiny roundy over top bit maybe it's definitely rounded over beautifully we have to put stickers on and we have to actually pay attention to what stickers go where even though they look almost the same, they're mirror images. So they have to go the right ones on the correct side, the correct ones on the correct side. And now we are doing that exactly the same again for the other side. So it's not the top. These are the two sides of the carriage. So let's just, let's, let's build through this and try not to muck it up because I've already done it once. You'd think I'd get it right the second time. Uh, and we put the stickers on again. And now we have got two sides of the pumpkin carriage. So this one goes on the front and this one goes on the back. And I think I've got the stickers on the right place. That's so cute. It's very pokey in there. This is going to be the top. You know how I make these calls and I don't actually know <laughs> what they're actually gonna be until I've made them. So this bit is going, yeah, on the top. Wow, okay, there is not much room in there, but I really love the design with the glass pieces behind her just to like break up all of that solid white inside the carriage. Rounded over blue pieces to go to make the framework around the door, around the carriage entryway. 
And on the top, the beautiful gold leaf with a bit of, oh, nice pink, nice pink to, to pinky it up. Did Disney princess it up? <laughs> yeah, we can get her in and out there, but it is, it's nice and, it's nice and cozy in there. All right, what else are we putting on here? We've got our door frames done and this goes on the top. Oh my gosh, that just became rounded so beautifully. Okay, and on the very top, we get gold leaves and on them, <laughs> that satiny translucent pink thing and a crown. It's beautiful. It definitely still looks pumpkin-y, but, but like gold and white pumpkin -y now. It's a very pretty carriage. Now we just need some wheels and they all go on in the same way. They get the little pink dot on them. Uh, yeah, okay, they're in there beautifully. This is a really cool design. I really do love this carriage. And one more on the front. And there we, oh no, hold on. I've knocked off a curly key, a curly keet. Let's put that back in there. Actually, it's not cute really. They're elegant. They make it look incredibly elegant. That's a beautiful carriage. Okay, this is the best carriage to date. I'm calling it. I really, really like the design of this carriage comparatively to the older ones. All right, let's see what else we've got. We've got the thing that, that bit that you actually connect the horses to the carriage with, or the carriages to the horses. And the horses get connected together with, I don't know what, there must be an actual name for it. I don't know what it is, but it's like a combined saddley thing that goes over the top of the two of them and keeps them an equidistance apart from each other. So they get the Cinderella banner on either side of their little saddley bits. And I have missed a piece off here because that's going to sit just a little bit low. Little peaky bits on the top. And these get the horses in them. <laughs> so we need to take the central piece out of the horses. It sounds a little bit concerning. <laughs> Don't mind us. We're just taking a bit out of the horses. That's all right. We'll replace it with this. There we go. That looks amazing. And the fact that their heads can go up and down just adds so much versatility to these beautiful horses. Oh my gosh, yes, this is beautiful. This is a really, really gorgeous design. The chest goes on the back here. Feel the suspension in that. Oh, this is very nice. I think that this, some of the older carriages have been deliberately designed for younger builders. I think this one's a little bit more intricate and definitely is gonna make a beautiful display piece, even for, for, for older builders as well and older collectors of Disney princess stuff. Oh, this is lovely. Let's put these, let's, they're your face in the wrong way, like guys. Let's turn them around to face the front. Beautiful. Cinderella's got her glass slippers. She's ready for the ball, even though Gus is there and the horse, yeah, like the horses are there and they shouldn't be able to exist in the same plane together. That's okay. We'll just suspend disbelief. All right. I have enjoyed building this. It's beautiful. It really is the most gorgeous finished product. If you want to see more builds, now's the time to subscribe. Check back in all the time. There's always new stuff going up and I'll be back with another video very soon. So I will see you then. <laughs> Bye.